Everyone, we're going to finish the cha chapter 7 from Secret 7, Mystery of the Theatre Ghost. Peter looked at Jack curiously. I saw something, said Jack. I never said it was definitely a ghost. It was probably just something white, part of a costume or a prop. Floating around by itself, asked Barbara. Peter checked to make sure no one was listening to them. There's no ghost, he said, shaking his head. You don't know that, said Barbara. Jack isn't the only one who saw it. Some of the actors said they saw it too. I never said I saw it, said Jack, raising his voice. And Hansel even had a dream that the theatre was haunted, said Pam. Oh, well, said Peter, if Hansel had a dream about it, then it must be true. Pam scowled at Peter. She hated when he made fun of her. Mrs. Bag now thinks there's a ghost too, said George. She said there's, she's known about it for years. She probably didn't give me a straight answer when I asked her yesterday because she didn't want to scare me. Listen, I really don't think there's a ghost, said Peter, but there might be a person. We found out something suspicious about the trap door, but we can't speak here. Follow me. Peter led them backstage along a corridor and down the wooden wind winding stairs they'd come up earlier. Where are we going? asked George. To get Janet, said Peter. We need to have an emergency Secret 7 meeting. Barbara stopped. What? Now? We're in the middle of the play. Peter gave Barbara one of his this is serious faces. Fine, said Barbara, but it better be quick. My part's next. When they arrived at Mrs. Bagnell's dressing room, a smile spread across Janet's face as she saw what Peter was wearing. But then she noticed how serious he looked. What's wrong, she asked. Peter peeked into the dressing room. Is Mrs. Bagnell back yet, he asked. We'll need to, ha to have an emergency Secret 7 meeting. No, said Janet. She went upstairs to get some more cotton wool balls as soon as we'd finished the makeup for the first half. But that was ages ago, actually. I'm not sure why she's not back yet. Well, she was speaking to some of the actors in the green room. Maybe she's helping them look for the missing head, said Jack. Is there anything to eat in here? What missing head, asked Janet. Haven't you heard what's been happening, asked Jack. Janet shook her head. I've been down here tidying up. The place was a complete mess after doing Rumpelstiltskin's face. He made Mrs. Bagnell change it over and over again, even though it was perfect. He's a nightmare. Why, what's been happening? Is the play going well? Um, no, said Barbara. It's chaos up there, said Jack. Everything that could possibly go wrong on stage has gone wrong. We think it's the ghost, said Pam. No, we don't, said Peter. Janet looked at her watch. The second half of the play starts in five minutes, she said. Peter nodded. But it was obvious from the look on his face that he still thought they needed to have a meeting. Quick, said Janet. Shut the door and sit down. Everyone sat down and looked up at Peter. Okay, he said, taking a deep breath. Just before the performance started, Colin and I overheard the stagehands Taj and Daniela talking about the spare trap door key. They said it had been missing since yesterday when Rosalind had her accident. They said that the spare key wasn't on the hook next to the fire alarm like it should have been, said Colin, and they sounded worried about it. Janet looked at Peter. You think someone took it and opened the trap door on purpose, don't you, she said. I think it's very suspicious that the key is missing, he replied. I mean, it can't be an accident if neither Taj nor Daniela knows where it is, can it? Maybe someone is behind it all. Well, either way, I think it's up to the Secret Seven to find that out, said Colin. I agree, said Janet. All of a sudden, the little bell started to ring. Time to go, said Jack. Okay, Peter, we'll keep an eye out for any evidence. The show must go on. Everyone except Janet rushed out. She took Peter's arm as he was leaving. Be careful, she whispered. If someone did open that trap door on purpose, then you might all be in danger up there. And that's the end of Chapter Seven. We'll read chapter 8 next time. Bye.